My husband of 53 years just died last month. And it feels like the world is crashing down on me, you know? <laughs> hey everyone, today we're gonna have a mock call, healthcare account, where the customer is having a particularly difficult situation. This mock call is an emphasis on how to build rapport, make small talk, and empathize with your customer. Without further ado, let's begin. Ready, one, two, three, go. Hi, thank you for calling Question Medical Supplies. This is Candace. How can I help you today? Hi, Candace. This is Susan, and I'm calling to order my monthly feeding supplies, my milk, and my syringes. Can you help me with that, please? Sure, I'll be happy to assist you with that. May I have your full name and date of birth? Sure. My name is Susan Smith. Date of birth is August 9th, 1979. Thank you. Let me pull up your account. Give me one moment. Okay. Thank you. And how's your day going? Oh, my my day's really great. Um, it's the middle of the summer. The weather's really nice. I couldn't ask for more. And yours? It's great. Although, I really don't care much for summer. I prefer winter and autumn. Really? Too hot? Too hot and too humid, especially down here in Florida. <laughs> oh, well, I can only imagine it in Florida. But I like autumn, too. Uh, it's good for photography. Hmm, really? Yes, absolutely. Um, all right, I have your account pulled up here, and I see that your prior authorization on file expired last month, and we'd also need a new prescription on file. Oh. And also, based on the notes, the previous representative, James, advised you to get a new authorization. Am I reading this right? Oh, yes, yes. James advised me to renew. But, but here's the thing, Candace. Here's the thing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> the day I was told about it, my doctor had already moved to another state. So I couldn't mm -hmm. exactly get the documents. And my new doctor, I was supposed to see him last week, but my appointment was canceled. The earliest he could see me will be on the 30th of this month. Today is the 5th. My supply is running out and I simply cannot wait that long. I see. Is there a way that you can have the appointment moved earlier, perhaps this week? Because the documents are really all we need to be able to send you your supplies. I did. I already did. I phoned the clinic. Explain the situation, but the lady swore it was the earliest they could do. They said there's been an emergency and the doctor could not do anything for me until the 30th. And my doctor, the one who moved to another state, I called him. Turns out he couldn't issue an authorization either, because it doesn't work in the clinic anymore. We're, we're, we're still on the 5th, and my diabetes is so severe that I don't think I'd ever survive a day without it. It's a pretty long gap to not be taking my medicine. It is, and it is not good for you. As it turns out, if there are no valid documents on file, your insurance company will not be able to cover any cost for any supplies we're going to send you until we get the prior authorization and prescription on file. Your only option would be to pay out of pocket. But once you get the renewed authorization, which won't be long, you will then be covered again by, the, by your insurance company. It's only going to be temporary until we get the valid documents. Oh, Candace, I, I know you're just doing your job, but if there's anything you can do, anything at all, I, please, I would I would thank the high heavens for it. I simply cannot afford to pay out of pocket this time. I, I'm a senior, I, and I now live alone. My husband of 53 years just died last month, died in his sleep, <laughs> left me just like that. And it feels like the world is crashing down on me, you know? I'm, I'm just trying to pick up the pieces together. I paid for his burial and, and everything else. And now, I simply cannot pay for anything else, you know? Oh, I, I am so sorry for your loss, Susan. I, I am so sorry. Um, as it and, I, and I know that this might sound like a sob story to you. And I, I don't blame you if you think it is. No, no. But that's just been my situation lately. And I've been trying to keep it together. The moment I picked up the phone today, I, I tried acting happy, but it's just been too hard. Too hard. I, oh, life has been just really hard lately, you know? 
I, I cannot imagine what you must be going through, Susan. I, and, and I won't assume to know, but you have my deepest condolences. I, I, I am so sorry for your loss. Um, so thank you. And you know, don't worry about it, Candace. We, we've we've lived together for quite a long time. Fifty-three years is quite a long time, even if it's for me it's still short. But you know, other couples don't have that much. And for that, he and I were quite lucky. Yes, and you know, you you must have created a lot a lot of good memories together, and that's definitely something to treasure, even if. Even if that means hurting very much when it's time to say goodbye. I agree. Thank you, Candace. And no. I'm so sorry for breaking down. You know, no, no, no. I truly did not want to no, put you in this awkward situation, but it's just been really, really hard, you know? No, no, no worries, Susan. I, I totally understand, okay? Um, what you're feeling right now, that's totally understandable. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do for you. I will talk to my supervisor and see if there's anything we can do for you. I, I cannot make any promises. Of course, but, I understand. Yeah, but I will try if there's anything that, at all that we can do for you. Okay? I understand. I, I really appreciate it. Whatever decision your supervisor comes up with, I'll understand. You know, at this point, mm -hmm. I'm really just trying my luck. And I have to try all right, Susan, could you give me two to three minutes to get a hold of, of my supervisor and talk to her? Sure. Take your time, Candace. I'll be just right here. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Susan. I'm going to put you on hold now. TL? Yes? <laughs> Can you help me? Thank you for waiting, Susan. Sure. No worries, Candace. So I just talked to my supervisor, explained her to her your situation. Uh, she checked your account, and I have good news for you. Really? I got the approval from my supervisor to send you a month's worth of supplies. This should be more than enough to last you till your next appointment. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Candace. I honestly didn't think this would be possible. You're an angel. Mm, I really appreciate don't. you. I really appreciate your company. Tell your supervisor, thank you very much. You have no idea how big of a thing this already is for me. You're most welcome, Susan. We have seen from your records that this is the first time you're requesting for this. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and we definitely understand the predicament you're in. That's why we are you know, stepping in to help you. However, this will be only a one-time exception, a one-time courtesy. On the next appointment with your doctor please ensure to obtain a prior authorization and a valid prescription show so there should be two documents total All oh right. definitely that's the first thing i want to do i swear had my situation been different i would never ask this of you this is the first and last time i'd ask something like this next time i definitely will renew before expiration that's for sure Perfect, perfect. And as usual, the delivery date will be one to two business days from today. And just just for clarification, we will be sending you one month worth of feeding supplies, one month worth of glycerina milk, and one month worth of syringes, which are all based on your last month's prescription. All right? That is perfect. Is there anything else I can help you with today, Susan? No. Yours have been the greatest help I've ever received. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's my pleasure, Susan. And thank you for doing business with Christian Medical Supplies. You have a fantastic day. Now, I want you to pay attention to the conversation between the agent and the team lead. Yes. There's a patient here with an expired authorization of prescription on file. Mm -hmm. She hadn't been able to renew because her doctor moved to another state. She has a new doctor now, but he won't be able to see her until the end of this month problem is her supplies aren't going to last that long and she said her diabetes is severe. Right. She tried requesting for an early appointment but the clinic said it just wasn't possible because there's been an emergency. I told her to pay out of pocket just for this month but she was she was crying. It said her husband passed away and she paid oh. for his burial and she cannot afford another major expense. She sounded like she's in a really bad shape. What do you think I should do with this? Okay. Did you check her history with us? Yes, I did. Um, this is the first time she's asking for something like this. Previous transactions with us were pretty much uneventful. She's been with us for seven years now. Uh, okay. Send me her account number, please. I'll check it. 
I just did. Okay, let me check. Okay, just, just give her a one-time courtesy. Make sure to let her know that this is a one-time thing, okay? General rule is if it's expired, it's expired. Nothing we can do about it. All right? Thanks, DL. Sure thing. She stated all the relevant information that's going to impact the decision of the team lead to grant or not to grant the customer's request. When you're asking for help from your team lead, this is how you should explain the problem. The team lead did not have to ask multiple questions to understand the customer situation. The agent provided it up front. So as much as possible, be concise, but be detailed as well. Prior authorization and prescription are needed for the medical supply to be able to dispatch the supplies to the patient and for that supplies to be covered by the insurance company. Without prior authorization and prescription, the insurance company has the right to decline the, the cost. Granting the customer's request is a wise decision from a customer retention standpoint. Susan will likely remember this and will think twice before switching to another company. And she's not exactly an abusive customer. She's just really in a bad situation and the company allows for it. But take note that it could be a different policy from company to company, so always follow your company policy. The good thing about this call is the customer made a request and the company policy was able to allow it, was able to accommodate it. But what happens if there's just no way to grant the customer's request or if the customer has already taken advantage of the privilege that the company is allowing her to have, then that's going to be a problem. And that's going to be another video, same account, healthcare account, where the customer is asking for something, but she's not going to have it. So if you're interested in the kind of video, stay tuned. And that will be my next mock call. All right, that is all for today. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. Bye.